Hello YouTube, Van Danagrama here, out in the garden, been doing some work, thought I'd let you see, catch you up on what's going on here. I've been doing some weeding, here's my strawberry bed, it pretty much looked like that, <laughs> and now I've got it weeded out, so it looks like this. I've been putting my seedlings in. Here I've got some tomatoes planted, all different kinds. Paste tomatoes, heirloom tomatoes. We got green zebra and Mr. Stripey and super sweet 100s. We've got some paste tomatoes all along here. My onion bed is looking terrific. These are Egyptian walking onions. And they're all going to uh, seed heads on the top, which you call bulbets. And what happens is they will bend over and plant the heads in the ground. And then that's how they uh, proliferate themselves. They, they grow new ones, and that's why they call them walking onions. They just keep planting and walking through your garden. And, of course, my poison ivy on the fence is in great shape. I'm going to have to cover that with the black plastic and then run the saw underneath the fence to cut all the roots and see if I can get that all died back. I'm scared to death of that stuff. It really gets me bad. So I'm going to have to get all covered up before I do that. And I, I might do that live. Be a dangerous operation. Suspenseful. Bandana Grandma tackles poison ivy. Okay, over here I have squash. Now these were given to me. My daughter works in a garden center. And they're supposed to be organic heirloom squash. But they were just about dead. So they let her have them. And she brought them to me. And I'm going to see if I can get them to come back. Now if you were here before, you may remember that I had a lot of yellow flowers here. On my... Oh... Um... Oh, what do you call it? Not kale. Um, collard greens. And I let them go to seed. And now they got all these seed heads on them. So I'm just waiting for the seeds to mature. But look at all those seed pods. It's breezy here today, so you might be getting some microphone distortion from the breeze. All right, over here. I planted cabbages and some zucchinis. And here I have some, what do you call that stuff? Uh, rainbow Swiss chard. A couple more tomatoes that I'm going to try and nurse back. In fact, these that came with, with starts of baby tomatoes, I'm going to take those off because it needs time to recover before it tries to make tomatoes. So they don't look great, but they were free. I'm going to see if I can do something with them. More cabbages. And on the other side, I have cukes and melons and uh, uh, squash that will grow up like spaghetti squash and butternut squash and that can go up over the top of my panels here and underneath the cabbage and I've planted marigolds all around the edges of the beds more tomatoes back here on this side there's raspberries back there and this side and more peppers and tomatoes up in there. Now, my fruit tree. My peach tree was absolutely loaded with fruit. And I was told to thin it out, but I knew it would have a fruit drop. So I waited, and I'm glad I did, because it lost probably 200 fruit. If you can see them down there, all over the place, itty bitty, peaches that have fallen off 
Now I'm hoping it's just nature's way of thinning it out. I still have quite a few on here, but they should now grow to be a decent size because they're now limited in how many are on a branch. At least I'm hoping it's the case and that no more fall because they're thinned out pretty good now. Over here, my Asian pears are looking great. This tree is loaded with them. All down every branch there's clusters of Asian pears. And this tree has nectarines. And this tree has a few bubblegum plum, not a whole lot. It's pretty young. I think it takes a little longer, but bubblegum plum. And my cherry tree is getting lots of cherries. So I'm hoping I can get a harvest from my cherry tree. Let's see who was here. Let's see, I see Valerie, Sandra, hello. Half Acre Dreams, Sheila. And Half Acre Dreams is Vicky. <laughs> Ellie. Okay, welcome everybody. So, I don't blooms. I had on my Granny Smith turned into apples. I don't see any apples on my baby Granny Smith, so I guess we have to wait another year on that. What I do see is some brown spot, which I'm not happy about, but I guess I should read up on that. The two comfrey plants I put in here last year, look at comfrey, 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 everywhere comfrey. So let that be a warning to you. I don't mind it here. In fact, I like it here. This is kind of a shaded spot and it's doing well. Planted it out front in my flower gardens. And yes, Vicki, I remembered. <laughs> and I have it growing out there too and it's taken over and I need to pull out as much as I can. I have grape vine here, which I don't... I think this is a Maryland grapeweed, like a wild grapevine, but I'm going to wait and see because there is a question. It's up. I had planted two grapevines, one over there by that stump and another one over here. And whether or not that grapevine took off after we put the fence up and that's what's coming over remains to be seen, but I highly suspect that it's um, the grapevine, the Maryland grapevine weed and not a true grape. So, so you see my fruit forest, my food forest fruit trees are coming along. Filling out. Now this is that wisteria that I keep threatening to take down and I still plan on doing that. Right, this is another plum and I've got a few plums on it. Again, these are babies. But there's a few plums. It too, it too had a fruit drop, as you can see. All right, I've weeded out around the circle here and I've got stargazer lilies coming back see this one's got they all have a whole bunch of buds on them like we're going to have a lot of nice blooms but these are all stargazer lilies this is a nectarine it only had a few fruit on it I don't know if they hung on or not I'm suspecting they dropped off There, look at this stargazer. This one's more in the sun. See the the uh, buds coming for the stargazer? And there's a little one. And I've started putting petunias in between. I've got more to plant. Another stargazer. 
stargazer. And this is my gala apple. And it is indeed getting some apples on it. We'll just have to wait and see if they actually develop into full apples or not. But I'm excited about my fruit trees. Now, I had a question out front. I'm going to try to go out front. Oh, and my hydrangeas. Look, they're starting to, starting to get the hydrangea buds on it. Looks like it's going to be beautiful. Getting a lot of them. My bleeding hearts are on the way out. Looking kind of pale and sad. So they're on the way out. They only <laughs> last in the spring. More hydrangeas coming. They'll be beautiful. They'll be either bright pink, purple, or blue. Big balls of flowers. Another hydrangea. Now we've had the contractors here working on the house. They've extended our bedroom out right here to make a closet in my bedroom. A bigger closet. So this was all screen porch and now it's enclosed. And that's part of my new closet. And we'll go inside and I'll show you that too. But it's pretty messy out here. They're still working and building and got stuff everywhere. He'll be back tomorrow. I'm going out front because I have a question. This is mostly for Sherry Holcamp from Two Family Homestead. I don't think she's watching. But she had offered me some mugwort. And I remembered reading about it and thinking, you know, I'd like to add that to my herb garden. And I tried to grow some in pots once and it didn't come up. So I asked her if she uh, would send me some. And she said she would a few days ago. Look of it up. And I'm wondering if I have some, a whole bunch of it here, but I don't recognize it. It doesn't smell like I expected mugwort to smell. This is what I'm talking about. I don't know if this is chrysanthemum weed or mugwort or what, but it looks a lot like mugwort. It's got the silver backs, but they don't look hairy to me. Uh, it's got those le five leaves on it. They say if you brush it, it should smell like a spicy tea. I'm not really smelling that, so I don't know. Now these gardens are in terrible need of weeding, but my rose bushes look great. And my these are uh, dappled willow bushes and they look beautiful too, even though they're fading now. They have orange tips on them when they come and are really pretty against the color of the house, the cider colored house too. So. I've got a lot of work to do out here to weed us see a lot of the comfrey again came up and is taken over. I've got sage and lemon balm and oregano. Uh, oh help. Well, and I can't bring the word to mind. This stuff. You know what this is. Yeah, I've got plenty of that. And I've got some things I don't know what they are. But this stuff is going everywhere. The stuff that might be mugwort, but I think. And I don't know what this stuff is, but I think it's a weed that I need to get rid of. But I think I've... Sorry, noise. Now my vanity for my bathroom... Sorry, lost you for a minute. Here I have some more rescued flowers that my daughter brought me from her uh, place of business that they were going to throw out. Me. I hope I'm back. I'm going to go back in the house, see my other rose bush, and then I'll go back. This one had all the rain and a storm. This was loaded with pink flowers, and now they've pretty much been blown away. But there's more coming, more buds coming. And over here, I have a knockout rose bush. These are my knockout roses. 
and that's a yellow rose that too needs to come back it was blown up with the storm this is lilacs that have come and gone and my little dogwood has come and gone it had beautiful pink blossoms but that's gone but aren't these beautiful my beautiful roses they're so prolific I just love them and uh, what's the name of this thing uh, anyway that gets bright pink flowers on it too that tree uh, crepe myrtle the crepe myrtle and I don't know if you can see but way up there you might see white spots on these bushes those are blackberry bushes and I've got a few blueberries back there too and you can see I've got some irises blooming over here right there irises and I've got, I'm going to have a ton of orange lilies all around here when they come to bloom probably in another couple of weeks so I think I'm going to have a teenage girl come and help me weed out this garden because it's really getting beyond me and I can work on getting more of the vegetable gardens in order well I get this all weeded up and mulched it'll look pretty when it's weeded and mulched again so my azaleas have come and gone but very soon I'll have dahlias I have beautiful dahlias that come here and also more over there and I've got some yellow lilies that are going to come there too so Back to the backyard where I can sit down in the shade and maybe read the comments. I'll be so glad when all this is picked up and done and the work is done on the house. Whew. Yeah, it's a mess. All right. I'm going to go in and <laughs> brave the mess here. And they have made progress. It's still a disaster, but they've made progress. All right. They've enclosed the closet. And they've put the siding on it. So that's all enclosed and done. That just needs to be painted now. So that's done. And in here... I'll have to turn the light on. Show you what they've done in here. If I can find a light. I have another one over here. Ooh. Okay. There's the new bedroom closet. They've been mudding it. He might put one more coat of mud on it tomorrow and the trim and then we'll be painting it first priming it and then painting it and then i'm going to have mirrored doors on it and we're going to have a very nice uh, lighted back door here an exterior door put over here so that'll be good now where my closet used to be remember you could look right into the bathroom there well now they built a wall and he's mudded it he left a cubby hole here because the toilet's going to be right here and behind the toilet there's a bunch of space. So he's going to put a door there and I'll be able to, uh, that'll be walled off into a little cubby accessible from the bedroom and I'll be able to put like my canning pots there. <laughs> oh, there's my Jen. That's my daughter Jen. She's he says it's like one of those dreams where it looks like your house but it doesn't and I like the creepy monster hole <laughs> that would be my gen for sure yeah so there's my monster hole and when that's finished up with a door I think I'm going to put my canning uh, pots in there because I don't have a place big enough in my kitchen in fact I had him measure so they would fit through there so there's the green board and the patching he's doing all the mudding now the bathroom here's the bathroom that's where the uh, inset um, medicine cabinet is going to go 
and my beautiful new vanity that's supposed to come today. Hear my echo? Woo -hoo. <laughs> it's going to go right here, a 48, a 48 inch vanity. That's the new tub, but they've been, they put boards so he could stand up and, and speckle the ceiling and put the light in and all that. The toilet's going to go right here against that wall. And then I'll have shelving all up through here to put shampoos and towels and all that stuff on. And he reinforced the wall in two places here so we could hang towel racks or a shelf or whatever we want. So that'll work. So when I first started, you saw that you could see all the way to the studs. The floor was completely opened up. And now it's... Uh, coming together. Still a lot to do. I think tiling, the tile might be put on Saturday because it's getting picked up today or tomorrow morning. And so I think the tile's going to be done either Saturday or Monday, depending on what the tile man says. So, all right. Now we are to I can sit down and look at the comments. <laughs> all right now you're all gonna have a big surprise where's my haircut i told you i look different every day yeah the truth is i didn't haircut. <laughs> i didn't get a haircut at all i just don't like short hair <laughs> let me turn this over here so i can prop my camera up there Ooh. All right, so we got no glam gram today, no makeup, no hair doing, no nothing. But let's see if I can get that to sit without falling. Hmm. How about this way? There, it's a little better. Okay, so that's the update on my garden and the um, renovations that are happening here. Let me see, am I getting to, oh, I'm not sure if I get my mirror end or not. Alrighty. Laura, <laughs> she says I'm looking beautiful before it even uh, showed me. So thank you, Laura, you're very <laughs> kind. Really lagging. Okay. Uh, Hope I didn't miss anybody, but I'm going back through now. Allie, Half Acre, Laura. Yes, you finally go. <laughs> and Alicia, I saw your husband in here uh, last time. It says my daughter, J.L. Gould. Hello, my Jen. Okay. Half acre says so she's just getting leaves. Yeah, I'm a sweaty mess. I've been out working in the garden. Yeah, I was getting away from my Wi-Fi for sure. That's what it looks like without my glasses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, well, I hope I'm back in uh, clear now. Yeah, I do have nice roses. I'm really thankful for those roses. They seem to do well here. Way up there is a green blob, Mama. Okay. <laughs> but all the rain was hard on the plants. Yeah, it needed the rain, but it came down really hard and it was there for four or five days. Oh, JL, you are Jen. Yes, JL is my Jen. Hey, <laughs> JL. Jen says she has my entire face. Yeah, we look quite a bit alike. <laughs> yep, Jen has a blog. That's right. This woman wanders. Jen travels the country and takes photographs. Yes, Allie, it was a wig. <laughs> I was teasing you all. Um, I had bought that years ago when we went on a cruise. And I knew I was going to be like 
swimming during the day and then going to fancy uh, captain's table dinners at night. And I thought, what am I going to do with my hair? So I bought this little wig to throw on when I wanted to. So that's what that was. And, you know, if my hair was the texture of that wig, meaning it had body and it was thicker, maybe I'd think about cutting it again. But if I cut my hair in the hot summer, it just hangs and it's in my face or it's stringy and it has to grow out and it has to be cut. And it never looks the way that wig did the other day when I had it on just for fun. Um, I would much rather be able to put my hair in a bun, put my hair in pigtails, put my hair in a ponytail, twist it up, get it out of my face and not have it just hanging. I, short hair and I just don't do it. <laughs> Okay, so she has to have the volume turned way up. Yeah, mine is up, so I don't know. Yeah, cut it, Susie. I cut mine. Every time I've cut mine, I've regretted it. I, You know, the wig looked cute, but it's not my hair, and my hair wouldn't do that. So that's the problem. Volume just improved. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what it did. I bumped it up one notch. And that was the, the top that it'll go. So you could tell I'm really tired today. I'm really beat. <laughs> I've been out working in the, in the hot weather in the gardens. And i got a lot more to do. And I'm waiting for my vanity to come. I'm very excited about that. Um, but I, when it comes, I have to examine it to make sure everything is fine. Thank you, Jen, honey. <laughs> My kids see me through eyes of love, which is wonderful. <laughs> oh, it's still buffering. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, my sister Jody, I mentioned that before. My sister Jody has short hair, and she looks really cute in it. But uh, she also has my niece real close that is a hairdresser <laughs> and can fix it up anytime. Lies, I don't like you at all. You're just pretty. <laughs> yeah, I know better. <laughs> so, no wonder you're tired. Yeah, I'm, I'm beat. Although the night before, for the first time in forever, it seems, I got like nine or ten hours sleep. I was beat. I laid down at not, at six o'clock at night, and I didn't wake up till four o'clock in the morning, and I was out like a light. So, that helped a lot that day. I did catch up. I see my one eye is sagging again, too. That's what happens when I get tired. But try and keep it open. <laughs> it did feel good. It felt good to get that rest. I woke up feeling, wow, this is what it feels like to get enough sleep. <laughs> that was that was great. My revival. I'm so happy I cut mine short. See, we're all different. You know, I, I just can't. I just don't like to wear it short. My husband doesn't like it short. Today is a bad example. It looks awful because I've been out sweating in it. But... I do like to be able to do things with it and get it out of the way. Hey, Laura. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not going to stay on. I just want to give you a quick update on the garden and on the bathroom. It's taken a while, but you can see it's making progress. And hopefully when it's all done and the house is cleaned up again, I can give you a grand tour and it'll look nice. Um, I'm excited about my vanity coming today. Oh, what I was getting at was when it comes, it's coming all the way from California. Wouldn't you know the one I like would be out in California. So it arrived at the BWI, Baltimore, Washington Airport this morning, and they said it was going to be here sometime today. I don't know when, but I have to stay here for it. And when it comes, I have to go out and examine the crate and take pictures all around the crate to make sure that the plastic it's bubble wrapped in is not broken, that the crate is not cracked or broken. I have to ask the guy if I can open it and examine it. They said sometimes they'll let you and sometimes they won't. If he does, I have to open it up and look it all over, make sure that the marble top is fine and there's no cracks and that the drawers and everything are fine. Uh, if he says I cannot, then there's a sensor on it. It's a yellow sensor and it says if it's handled roughly, it, it, something inside it will break and it'll turn red. And I'm to take pictures of that and see if it's red or yellow. 
And if it's missing, I have to note on the, on the bill of sale, the, the receipt thingy I have to sign that the sensor was missing or the sensor was uh, broken. So that way, if something's wrong with it, insurance will take care of it. If that's not done, insurance won't take care of it. And then I have to take a picture of the receipt showing I wrote those things on it in case they fudge it. So <laughs> it's crazy. So, okay. Allie got sunburn at the beach. Gotta be more careful, Allie. Sunburns are bad. Okay, my revival. Oh, I know her name. I know her name. Wait a minute. There I go losing one again. My re oh. Suzanne? Is that Suzanne? Okay, bye Vicky. Have an awesome day. Got word my order is on arrival. Yeah, Laura, it just left. I wrote you a note. I had an awful time getting it out of here. It's finally on the way. So I apologize for the great delay, but it's coming. All right, Sheila, my son's wedding's in July and considering cutting mine. What holds me back is I'm never happy or short here when I do cut it. Yeah, that's how I am. Models always take... Models always take longer than, oh, remodels always take longer than planned, but it will be beautiful for sure. Have a blessed day. Hope you, Vandy, comes in good shape. Me too, Margaret. Thank you. Susan. Okay, I was close. <laughs> Just like me, Susan. Okay. Patty Grove. Hello. Watching from Colorado. It's okay. I'm patient. You are a blessing to me, Laura, because you've been so understanding when I had such a hard time getting that out. But it's on the way, finally. All right, everyone, I'm going to say goodbye and uh, do a few more things around here. Maybe take another nap because I'm pretty hot and tired. And thanks for coming by. My revival. Read a note you made on my word for 2018 video last night and encouraged me. Good. Glad to hear it, Susan. I have to go back and see what I wrote. <laughs> all right. Goodbye, all.